It's October. I want to do it again. November 11th, 2016. I'm Dana, your host, nuclear proctologist at .org. And you can find these videos live at Beautiful Girl by Dana on YouTube, reposted after the stream. And throughout the entire internet, which is an amazing thing because they can kill me, but they can't silence my words ever. And that is the power of your voices. That's why you must use your voices. Your voices are a gift. They're amazing. When in unison, like if a million of you come out and scream, something righteous, something moral at the same time, something ethical. You are a force that they cannot reckon with. You become a fever. You become encompassing. You become overwhelming. You become the majority. We had a hard time hooking up with that stream this morning for some reason. And we don't know why that is. So, the Pacific Ocean seafood. You see this uh, dispersal? It's right across the Pacific Ocean. You don't want to eat seafood. From the Pacific, there's other oceans. I'm not saying that they're safe either. Look at the radioactive fallout. This is one of many models. Good morning to everybody in the comment sections and out there sitting back and watching this later. And, you know, there's so many things on the, on the plate. There's so many important issues one would assume, but if you go down the nuclear rabbit hole, if you dare wander in that direction, if you dare form a thought that is not what they told you to think, if you dare think on your own, I'm going to give you, before we run into the Pacific, we're going to run into Pacific seafood. For those who don't have any patience, this is the one subject you will have patience for, whether you have it now or you have it in the future. You will, at some point, have to come and look at the documentation. At some point, you will be compelled, no matter how much, and no matter, even if you're uh, part of the nuclear PR firms, you're still not knowledgeable. You're just a, um, you're just a, a weapon, a restrictive weapon that's used against the, the the moral people on the planet. A public relations firm is not there to repair damage that was unjustified. They're there to cover up the crimes. But let's just jump into the world of headlines. Um, recent headlines, today's headlines for the next five, six minutes. We're just going to run through a whack of them. So you can kind of... Uh, you can kind of... Uh, And here we go. We'll just jump right over to it. Good morning, everybody. Hugs for everybody. Elaine, that should show up in the mail if it hasn't showed up already. It'll be there. I just forgot to send you that email. My mistake. So I know you're out there. So hi, everybody. Um, Vietnam, just scrap plans. There's going to be a bit of echo because I still got the volume up on my headphones. Sometimes it's easier just to disconnect it, find the volume on that particular one. Now, uh, Vietnam has scrapped its first two uh, nuclear power plants, yeah? The price doubled. That's how crazy the nuclear industry. Now, the price of uranium has went down. 
price of uranium has gone down for six years straight. It's down to nothing. If they drop it any lower, uh, the mines uh, won't be able to pay for the fuel to drive to work in the morning. Or like the companies themselves. Right? You can't drop it any lower because you need a certain... It's down to around $18, $19 a pound. It went from $70, $75 a pound at Fukushima. And there's like uh, a billion tons of raw uranium stored up. That's over five years once it's processed and used. That's five years worth of fuel. And so even though they got this huge stockpile, that it's still not feasible. And not only that, they jacked the price up to $18 million. South Australia rejected international nuclear waste dump because they got to be batshit crazy to do it. Yeah, you get a few hundred thousand or a few hundred million rather. Uh, for and then a couple, couple of companies chew that up, but then you're stuck with it for millions of years. Who's going to pay for it? How does that work? Even if you give them a billion dollars, it still doesn't cover a billion years, and it has to be to, you know stored for up to four billion years. And you can't store it because it leaches and everything. You can't contain it because the noble gases will detonate if you try to contain it. You have to vent the, the noble gases, which are isotopes. And gases, but they're isotopes. They're deadly isotopes. And they don't go away. They just float around forever. In a million years, you breed it in. 10, 20, 30 years later, you got a cancer. But before that, you got 1,800 diseases will show up before the cancer. Abandoned nuclear laboratory. In Georgia. Just abandoned, abandoned ship. Abandoned nuclear power plants. <laughs> Anybody? Sure, why not? Because there's, there's no repercussion. No one's going to hold them accountable. No one's going to make them clean it up. No one. You remember Rocky Flat? Uh, Rocky Flats. The FBI and police went in there with SWAT teams because they wouldn't give it up. Contaminated or making all the plutonium triggers, but they were dumping it in the local dumps. They were just going out and dumping it, digging holes alongside the road and burying it. They got away with it for decades. Completely out of control. They had to go in there with guns to stop it. No, I'm not kidding you. They went in there with SWAT teams and, and, and shut that place down. This one here, Quater, because they're planning on putting nuclear plants down there, yeah? And they got this guy. Now, he's, uh, Gallison is not stupid or naive or gullible, but here's one of his statements. You can see it in the, the, sec, the big paragraph in his talk, Wastelands and Wilderness, the third sentence. Uh, to the right of the third sentence, inhabit the same place. You see, I got that highlighted. Radioactivity has been good for wildlife. They just threw that in there. No one knows why. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't add up when you read the whole article. But they threw that in there. Oh, radiation has been good. But yet at the same time, they're talking about trying to come up with signs so that, no, so that people don't accidentally touch it for hundreds of thousands of years, but it's okay for wildlife because they're not, they don't matter. They're irrelevant. And we'll just go and say, oh, they're doing okay. So that's a Harvard, not a Harvard. Illinois community still struggling two uh, um, decades later. So nuclear power plant pay, once paid roughly 19.5 million in annual taxes. There's six times more breast cancer around a nuclear power plant within the 50 miles in studies, but it's up to 50 miles minimum if not worldwide. The isotopes don't go away. The jet streams are real. Been down that road over and over and over for three years straight. We're going to get over to the Pacific headlines very quick. But think about leukemias. Think about trying to clean up the site. 19 million, big whoop. Big friggin' whoop. That's irrelevant. Oh, but the little community can't survive yet because they, they didn't try to survive some other way. They got sucked in. And now their whole country is destroyed with radioactive waste. Environmental advocates ready to fight Trump. Fukushima will start burning radioactivity, 100,000 barrels a kilogram. Not going to fight that one. But Sierra Club was now pro-nuclear. Why they make the transition to non-polluter. Nobody even knows what this means, right? Okay. If that's not bad enough, you got uh, EPA chief Christina Todd Whitman says to the nuclear power industry, Reed has been a long time opponent of Yucca Mountain. Yeah, look at WIP, a waste isolation uh, plant. One of the casts blew up and he can't get back down there. 
Over two years later, six billion dollars later, still not down there. So why would you put it all in one spot? Why would you do that? Once it sets, once it goes to a chain reaction, it's all over with. Why do you think they're not doing it? You think you store something for billions of years yet you're still making it? But this is the EPA chief, ex uh, former EPA, talking like that. His retirement is good news for Yucca Mountain. Basically, he said now that he's gone, there's nothing in their way to get Yucca Mountain up and running. That he's the only reason Yucca Mountain doesn't exist is Reed. This is what the ex EPA chief. He's gone, man. Now it's time to go in there and do it. Nobody else is paying attention. This, this person is actually insane. Their stances, same with the Sierra Club, their, their stances are insane. Nobody, nobody can deny once you look at the documentation, yet they're not worried about burning radioactive incinerator, highly radioactive waste, dirty bombs all day, 24 hours a day, right across Japan. No big deal. This was a study just come out the effects of behavior activation program by improving mental and physical health complaints associated with radiation stress among mothers in Fukushima. In Fukushima. In a nuclear wasteland. Well, oh, they got mental health problems. And the study, mothers living with small children may experience radiation, anxiety, and related symptoms. So they're not looking for diabetes or Alzheimer's or dementia or autism or heart or liver or longer respiratory or pituitary or adrenaline. No, it's got to be mental. And you, you think that a scientist could be trusted. You really believe I should trust anything out there in science, scientist land? Yeah, we got to use them because that's what they are. Nobody else. You got to use it to show what's going on. How the information is available and they know, they know better. But the fact that they're not taking, trying to get these people out of there, the fact they're trying to blame it on mental health issues and saying that'll solve some issues like cancer and dementia and autism and heart. Like cancer doesn't show up right away. Cancer is the last one to show up. Hi, everybody. And my voice is a bit loud that time. I'm going to turn it back a little snap. My apologies. I get, I get, um, so here they're claiming that the discharge, you can see right by me, right? The, see widely highlighted the sentence above it. Or look, two, three, the plant lost control over regulating his nuclear reactors. Did, did anybody bother to look at pictures at that place? I wonder, did any of them even consider that the buildings are not even there? What, what are you talking about? See, explosion nuclear reactors don't, weigh in on this for some reason. Because that would mean that it might not be mental health, it might be radiation illnesses, and that they shouldn't be there, and that for doing, just for, just for producing these peer review studies, these people got mental health issues, like serious ones. Apathy is not a word they've ever heard or that they, they will associate with themselves. 15,000 casualties. Now, you want to talk about casualties, there's 860,000 excess cancers by 2012 in Japan. 816,000 more cancers than any previous year before. So we're going to jump over. We're going to keep moving. Otherwise, I won't get through it all. So what they're saying anyway, widely to the northwest direction from the plant. Do they think, like, you remember the model I showed you at the beginning of all this? The entire width and the span of the Pacific Ocean. The entire width and span of Canada, America, and North America. The entire, entire width and span of the Atlantic Ocean, and the entire width and span of the European, the entire width and span of the entire planet, heavily in the northern hemisphere, but the entire planet. But once again, the most heavily dispositioned was Canada, North America, was the Pacific Ocean. The, the fall, it was the width of the Pacific Ocean, the entire distance of the Pacific Ocean, but it never stopped coming out of Japan. It's not like a plume came out north, went west to northwest. So anyway, I'm just showing you. Here's another one. Cancer non non-existent in the White House. There's only one person in this history had cancer there. Uh, Japan women have spoken out. Modi's going to buy plants from a place where they're not even allowed to have plants anymore. 
from a place that contaminated their entire country. Think about the studies on thyroid for children was 13,646 out of 40,000 children had thyroid issues from this accident. That was just in the Fukushima area. Normally it's three in a million. Not 13,000 out of 40,000, but three in a million. Let's keep rolling. We're almost through. We're going to go to the Pacific. We're going to hit that hard. Anyway, um, to the Honorable Prime Minister, we are women living in Fukushima Prefecture that have been abandoned by our government, that have been abandoned by the media worldwide, that have been abandoned by women's groups worldwide and children's rights groups worldwide and children's organizations worldwide. We feel like we're victims. We feel like the world doesn't care about us. We're in desperation. Please don't support the nuclear industry in Japan. That's the short version. Scientists, trees near Fukushima have mutated. We're going to do another video on the mutation. I've got a whole lot more on the mutations and studies, study after study of mutation. And we're going to start regular shows next week. It's going to be good stuff, really good stuff coming up. We're just going to go for it. We raised $50 in the last... Um, couple of days. And so we're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> the industry has billions of dollars thrown at it all the time. All the PR firms, all the hate groups out there attack me. They got tons of money <laughs> and resources and people to help them. I got nothing. I don't know how we're going to do this. The world's going to look back and say, how the hell did they pull it off? Because we're going to win. We're the winning team. You know, can you imagine Greenpeace never got no donations? Can you imagine any Sierra Club never got no donations? Can you imagine Ducks Unlimited didn't have their stickers in every window out there? Can you imagine if the only narrative you get is the lie where the truth is not non-existent, where the facts are non-existent? Imagine that because that's the world you're living in. I-A-E-A. Like, I've done story after story after story of them saying it's like a banana and a potato chip and walking in sunshine. Why would you believe anything any of them have ever said when they're all appointed, nobody's elected? When they're all pro-nuclear, their job and their mandate is, is to promote nuclear, not to deal with the endless waste, not to worry about it, not to build containment units for it, not to come up with solutions. Let's keep going for a good cranky. Taiwan to ease food import on Japan except Fukushima. What do you... Have you lost your mind, folks? Why would you do that? Why would you import anything from Japan? Certainly, why would you import food? Why would you do that to your friends and your families and your loved ones and everybody in that community when you know it takes 10, 20, 30 years for the cancer to show up? Why the frig are you doing that? I'm almost ready to cry right now. When people do this, when I see this, when I see nobody out there fighting back. When I'm sitting here reading, it's a different story. I don't know what to do. I become distraught. I want to come out and make a video and scream at these people. I become enraged, indignant that people are going to be victims because nobody will make a stand. Anyway, that's just me. Your car tanks, there's 1,700 of them in Fukushima Prefecture where you wash your cars. 60,000 becquerels a kilogram and 8,000 is acceptable. They'll burn it at 100,000 in incinerators. So why is 8,000 acceptable? Because they're crazies. They're trying to stay in a spot that's, they won't stay in. They won't move there themselves, the people who are making the decisions, but they want your, the people they don't know to move in there, the families that are already there to stay there so they can do this experiment to make all kinds of money and produce data for something that apparently only produces 3% of the energy on the planet and is allowed to kill the entire Pacific Ocean. Let's jump into it. Japan papers, not like you haven't been told, not like you haven't been warned, not like these headlines are not everywhere. The, but the, you, you don't read it. You think it's not important. You'd rather talk about titties and ass and nonsense and garbage and junk, and you're not able to wrap your mind around something that affects you permanently, that, that'll kill your grandchildren, for sure. That'll take everything away from you in the short term and the long term. That has already destroyed everything you covet, that you think the future has in store, is already destroyed by this handful of corporations. 
keep going. Battle against radioactive water. Battle. You can't stop it. The reactors blew up the Roger River where you plow it, plowed them under the ground. Every time it rains and snows and all the water they're spraying all over the site and all the water they're spraying on the reactors for the next thousands of years because they can't get near it. They're sunk down into the earth. The buildings are destroyed and cannibalized and atomized and aerosol and released into the environment as fissionable product and big plumes of that have been updated our countries and our coastlines and our communities and our estuaries. And we lost the glaciers in British Columbia. Hundreds of tons of radioactivity water being dumped intentionally. They call it tritium-3H. It's not. It's fission products absorbed into the water. Right? They just It's a word game, right? It's a numbers game. Elevated radiation in California coast. I'm getting pissed off here. I better calm down a bit. Hang on. Morning, everybody. Hugs, everybody. Didn't plug you in. Hang on. Let's try that again there, Dana boy. Yabba dabba dooey. Oh, Dana. What I got. What I got. I got something right today. Okay. Let's talk about for one second and we're going to go bang through these headlines in order that I got them set up for. Okay. So you got a gram of man-made and a gram of natural. So a gram of natural looks like this. I figured it's better to show people. Good morning, everybody. 160,000 per gram. A gram. Now, a gram is about the size of the very tip of your pinky. It's about the size of a Canadian dime piece or a nickel maybe at best, right? Hi, Anthony. Amthurst, Crystal. Shanigan, Elaine, Sensor, Nathan, CJ, Hyper. Hi, everybody. I know I never got everybody. But hi, everybody. Okay. So a gram of man-made has uh, 160,000 atoms. None of them atoms can hurt you. And they're all good for you. We're talking about, like, say, potassium-40, which is what they say all the time. Oh, it's like bananas, potato chips, and walking in the sunshine. But a gram of natural got 160,000. But they can't hurt you. They can't light up a light bulb or something. Okay. Now then... Now, a, a gram of man-made, you'll like what I'm going to show you here coming up. A, man, a gram of man-made is um, 88. It's the same size in your hand, but you would die a minute later. But it's 88 times uh, 78 billion. Yeah, me 78 billion. Well, yeah. Equals six trillion, six point eight trillion atoms versus one hundred and sixty thousand atoms. Okay, so we got that many atoms. We got that many atoms. So each of these atoms can give you a cancer. Each of those atoms, that's per gram, per gram, per gram. But we're talking released into the environment. Um. On the order of uh, minimum, it was 15 million pounds to 30 million pounds was released into the environment. And remember that because they got it stored uh, at their fuel pools in the building, yeah? They got it stored at the fuel pools in the building. And let's just talk about that for one second. We'll come right back to the Pacific Ocean. So Unit 4, as you can see, the top of the building is gone, completely gone. Now, this is Stephen Starr, and the next bit is of about a minute in clips, but they're in certain order. Now, i got to find the hole in the headphones and plug that back in. We're looking at that, Dana. Can't see the... Everything's black. Okay. 
Let's play that clip. A long way from seeing the end of this. One of the things that's not discussed <clears throat> is the spent fuel pools that are still fitting and blowing up reactor buildings. And the tops of these pools are 100 feet above ground. <clears throat> and 100 feet above ground. Does that look like 100 feet above ground to you? Well, that's 100 feet above ground on top of that, but they tore it all down. And Seth has stood up in the top of that. Here's MIT. Um, six days after the accident. This is a, just a short clip. It's 48 seconds. But the time I did the fuel pull at the top, let's hear what he got to say. Five days after, the MIT with a nuclear expert. Anytime you're ready, Dana. Um, the, this is another cut that shows the construction a little bit better. This is the uh, wet well with the suppression pool. And uh, you can see pieces here of the uh, dry well. Uh, and you can see that there are other uh, structures, particularly important probably is to notice that the spent fuel is stored in the upper regions of this building. And the refueling implies that the fuel will have to go from the core up and then down into this uh, pool. And uh, I will not comment on the events that have taken place because that's part of the, <laughs> the speaker's talk. But in, during questions and answers, I could clarify. Um, and that the top is gone. But he won't, right? Okay. So here's another one coming up. One more. So think about on your right-hand side and your left-hand side. They're not the same, right? But, but they are official pictures of the same building. Recent pictures. And so here's the final one. Uh, Ten years of fuel in those pools, in the building that don't exist. Fuel pools, although they have, in most of these reactors, quite a lot of fuel in them, perhaps as much as ten years' worth of spent fuel, by this time are not generating as much heat as, obviously, the fuel in the core. Right, so this is how they minimize it right away. Oh, it's not generating. Of course it's not, you freaking idiot. Everybody knows that. But why throw it out there? Because treat everybody like idiots, then they repeat that shit. Elevated radiation to California coast last decades. Good luck. Because it ain't going to go away. That's why your beaches are naked. They're covered in radiation. A low tide, the radiation was landing on us melting the shit out of everything that was there. That's why there's an extinction event in your tidal zones, which is the nursery of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, folks, you uh, follow grossly underestimated. Yeah, because the building blew up, caught fire, blew up, lost their entire inventory, 10 years. Just like MIT and Harvard and everybody else will admit, but then try to minimize it. It all got out. Part of the ground is sink near Fukushima reactor. Serious threat to our ocean environment and society. Society. Unprecedented events with global consequences. Followed as far from over. May the 27th, 2014. Now he's talking about fallout. Radioactive fallout. As far from over. Which is, you know, the Pacific Ocean, if it's running in one corner... Ah, Dana is, is kind of getting diluted. And I've heard all, all these nonsense because you can't dilute radiation. You can burn it at 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures. You can't hurt it. You just liberate it into the environment. And they do at the incinerators, yeah? Radiation levels keep rising. 2014, a drastic plunge in California penguins. 20,000 breeding pairs. Uh, they only had 10 eggs. Now, this year, I don't know what happened. We haven't heard nothing. We've got to look that up. A drastic plunge. Zero born in multiple study areas from thousands, which was 20,000 was the final number in one institution's study. But there was many studies like it at the same time in different parts. Once again, unknown. And any e news disappeared. They haven't posted anything. Worried about doing um, 
I know there was universities out there done studies trying to figure out who ran the site. What big whoop? Who cared? Why? Because you got a site there that aggregates the mainstream media news only, and you got to do a peer review study to try to find out who they were. Obviously, they have a moral, and obviously, they're very clever, very smart people, very intelligent people. Whoever it was responsible for that site is an amazing brainiac, is the only way to put it. But I'm worried about them. I haven't seen any activity. And the industry is notorious for assassination, right? Real assassination. This, is, this whole history is predicated upon getting rid of opposition like a mob. They got graveyards. Strontium, well, you get 100 times more strontium, 90, not counting all the other daughters, uh, for every cesium-137. But cesium-137 is just a tracer. Fukushima not under control. 2014, June. Japan lied to the world. Nuclear material polluting the ocean more and more. Yeah? It's all gone. Everything's dead. The only thing is left out there. I mean, 80 killer, killer whales left in Puget Sound. And every one of them are maciated. Maciated. It's not like a beer where the beer goes through the winter and hibernating, loses weight and gets up and eats shit and he's fine, right? The whales don't do that. They're emaciated. Seals, sea lions, and everything else are down to such tiny numbers. They can't sustain a pod. Now a whale can travel 5,000 miles. And it knows where food is. It's been doing this for many generations. They live very long lives. Now it's over. Pacific is done. Well, we went out and done 15,000 miles, 260 days. It's actually more than that, but I used that number for some reason for so long. It's just It was just meant originally, I think, just to throw a number. I didn't do the tally. Originally, for three months, we had a crew on the ocean, right? I was in a campground or um I was finding bandwidth every day to upload the documentation to the website, the nuclearproctologist.org, where you can find it now. Extinction event for British Columbia. U.S. West Coast had radiation at five millisieverts, microsieverts. I'm going, I'm not going to say it's low, it's risk of health effect, not zero. So then you go to more radiation, potato chips, than fish around Fukushima. You can't get, once again, these are the numbers of a gram of man-made atoms that are all deadly, and 160,000 is how much natural stuff per gram. So anybody that would dare come out and say and invoke those words, hi everybody, I'm gonna keep booking. More radiation, potato chips, than fish. Look, if there's a single atom in the fish and you eat the fish, ten, twenty, thirty, forty years, if that was your only exposure, that's that only applies. Hang on. You got it right here. Dr. Raymond Gilmetti from Loveless Respiratory Research Institute, New Mexico. 144 dogs. And uh, five years later, they're all dead. They all had multiple tumors. It was like that in every study in every country on the planet. Bar nothing. And bleeding is a, just a stupid fucking word. And he's not the only one using it. Don't get me wrong. Greatest nuclear contamination in the ocean in history, yeah? It can't be quantified. No, that's right. That's why we do what we do. That's why we fight the way we fight. That's why we are constantly active. That's why we are trying. We don't, nobody wants to do what I'm doing. I'd rather be out there bashing pundits, nonsense, you know, just being a shithead. 
being a normal, everyday, shithead, Canadian, shithead. I miss those days with a passion. Just being a shithead. But an articulating one. Just a quick reminder for anybody that's not familiar. I'll come back to those headlines. See the arrows? The corresponding pictures in a thousand, two thousand more spot. Some spots where we had three guys on the beach when they were learning what they were doing were still huge numbers. And I done uh, five months straight. And that's up at the nuclearproctologist.org. And so we're not just random people. Now, we covered thousands of headlines before we went on the ocean. We didn't just run out there and say, oh, it's going to affect the Pacific. No, we, we flushed it out. And the pictures, I'm sorry, the pictures on your left are pre of the same spot, but they're emblematic of all the coastline in Canada. That picture or these pictures, there's an extinction event. All the color is gone. All the species are gone. Just a couple of algaes left. If those couple of algaes disappear, it's going to be naked. No more will you be able to take a picture to your left. You don't have to be an expert to take that picture over there. Just take your camera out normally anywhere on the beach and go click. It's that simple. See all the muscles underneath it? My cigarettes don't got 7,000 chemicals, by the way. But if these couple of algaes are, disappear, there's nothing left. These are the same place. This is Louise Narrow's hide a But the pre, pre on your left are... Canada's coastline, but they're actually from the same place right here. These actually pictures are the exact same spot. No, Dana. So if I zoom down on the ground and then put that picture alongside me, you say, oh, yeah, that's probably the same spot. But if I show you the whole beach with nothing on it, you say, Dana's not the exact same picture. Well, I say you're, you're gullible, naive, and you don't know what you're talking about. And that you need to understand that six years ago, the pictures to the left is what that, that coastline would look like. And that this expanding picture, because it's only a small area, they're well-known pictures, is one of the most famous places in Canada. Because of the diversity to your left, is, it, everything is gone on that coastline. But it's, it's emblematic of the whole, not emblematic, it's documented an extinction event, we documented it. It's documented. We've done the whole freaking coastline. We are the last expedition to ever do a species count in British Columbia, Canada, publicly that we know about. We're it. We're it. Nobody else will ever go out there again unless we go out there. Nobody will do this again. No one will go out there and have another check. No one's going to go out there and say, Dana missed anything. It cannot be done. That's why I am like I am. I am by far. Period. The last expedition. And I will be forever the last expedition on the Canadian coastline. That is a fact. That's not a conjecture. It's not an opinion. And you know... That's true because you can't go out and take that picture, yeah? You can't go out and find that. Just like you can't find anything to the left. You can't find it. You can't find it. You cannot find it. You can't find it. You know, out of the whole coastline, I only found maybe three urchins out of the water. And we're talking the lowest tides of the year included. The biggest moons. Let's come back over. Collapse. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna keep going. Let's keep going. Japan journalists melted nuclear fuel going through Fukushima. They don't even know where the reactor cores are. 
Maybe leave it in the place. It's not a solution. That's not a solution. Oh, we're just going to leave it there. Let it just burn and cannibalize and emit forever and ever. Don't care about rain and snow wash and ocean. I mean, they cemented the ocean floor in front of the reactors because the rods blew all the way out there. They landed on debris, all that heavy particles for months and months as 2,000 square miles of debris was moving off your coastline, was being saturated with radioactive fallout. It never stopped. Think about the fallout that hit the USS Ronald Reagan, and there was like 40 ships there at least. We're not talking about other countries. On top of that, that sent ships there were highly radiated. We don't know. No one's reported on it. But we know it was bad. We know it was bad because the USS Ronald Reagan crew, their digital watches all stopped at the same time as everybody had diarrhea and were defecating in the hallways, violent illnesses. Oh, Dana, did they had a bad breakfast? No, they didn't. And you're disgusting for thinking that. And gullible, naive, hopefully that's it. Hopefully you're not uh, dark. Because you're going to be dark to deny what's going on. You're going to be dark person. A soulless type person. Only a soulless, spineless, heartless person could ignore an extinction event. I'm not one of those people. I never will be. You can't buy me. That's why I don't have nothing. I won't be, I won't demean my family's name or my name or my legacy to say that I bowed. Why would I do that? What was the sense of being on this planet if you're going to bow down? Why would you want to be on this planet if you bow down? Because when you're older, it comes back and destroys you. There's nothing you can do to redeem yourself. Or take everything you got, cash it in, and put that cash in the nuclear proctologist. Donate. For God's sakes, this planet understood what I could do, what I have already done, what I will do. And what I'm denied the ability to do by the industry itself through the constant attacks and vilifications of me. But I'm not going away because I've never done nothing. Only try to make a stand for the last of the last of this planet. Complete crashes. That's in Canada too, by the way. Sardines, mackerel, herring, anchovies, squids, sardines, every fucking thing. Excuse the language. I'm not allowed to swear with an extinction event. I get it. Crisis fire from under control. It's burned through them. 15 minutes to go. Big black hole where data should be. Government fund to study. 120 quadrillion backwells of radioactive cesium into the North Pacific each day. So a few grams a day, basically, is what they're talking about, right? That's what that number means. Remember I showed you earlier? Right? That's from a gram, that number. A man-made, natural, is only 160,000, but they can't hurt you. Exceeds Chernobyl. Chernobyl, one-third the size. Chernobyl, 30% meltdown. Chernobyl stopped after 10 days, allegedly. Chernobyl, 150,000 square miles. Chernobyl... Three million children with disabilities. Coffee Anna 2000, United Nations podium. Chernobyl. 600 helicopter pilots died. You won't find that at the UN. An ERPA, unclear, talking about that. No. Criticality suspected it occurred in a Fukushima fuel pool. Yeah, because you don't have to be a reactor. That's why they can't get in the whip because they had a criticality, one of the cast. They had that at the Tetra River 10 years after, right? Where they moved everything 
a thousand miles away and they put it in big tanks all the heavy metals settled together it detonated and they lost a thousand square miles but it was a chain reaction this stuff doesn't need a spark it only needs oxygen right to detonate 39 billion beckles on a square meter in samples from the shoreline they used to package nuclear waste on the same day as this happened at five beckles and put it on a nuclear storage site for indefinite periods at five not 39 billion a cubic meter which is nothing compared to what's really coming out of her health effect but but a single one of those billions or quadrillions is a cancer not only for me or you but for microscopic animals they don't live long enough and it just destroys them mutates their stem cells mutates their babies in ways we haven't even conceived but there's a million studies where every animal died in every friggin' study oh it's like a banana yeah and you're mentally ill and every time there's a quake it drops all that stuff on the reactor core Fukushima radioactive releases in the oceans continue for thousands of more years thousands not that it matters they killed it but imagine what that means they killed the pacific in six years and it did it's undisputable Japan experts warn of more quakes. Well, they, they built them on a fall line. In a place smaller than California. And everything is on a fall line. And they get like a thousand of these a year. No, nothing was going to happen. So this guy lies after. Fukushima is scaring the bejesus out of everybody in the world. He's from UC Berkeley, that guy was. And then he lies about, uh, he says it's like a banana. Tuna way up the food chain. You would look at the microscopic world. You would look at the tidal pools. If you were a researcher, you wouldn't take water samples. You go to the tidal pool. It's a nursery. Radioactive material detected off California. Ho ho. You have no idea. No idea what happened. Clouds come in every day. Tens of thousands of miles of clouds and update your coastlines, your continents, full of radiation picked up and liberated from the Pacific Ocean. Large is epidemic. Epidemic? Millions and jellyfish waste high nuclear waste flowing out to sea 950 billion beckles a cubic meter of cesium unit 2 shaft 11,000 tons in tunnels this is fission contaminated product this is brutal this is x-rays and neutrons and gamma showing Worst you've ever seen in Alaska. Yeah, Alaska just went bottom up again this year, didn't they? Yeah, five years in a row. Hearing, cod, halibut. Yeah, and the killer whales are emaciated because they would have ate that stuff. Millions of fish found dead in California coast. Three major kills. Millions of dead fish at Oregon coast. Increase of dead mammals. 10,000 seals and sea lions came ashore. Now, normally they would eat that stuff over there, but there was nothing there, like my shoreline, yeah, here in Canada, right? Normally be, they can come munch on, hang on, I'll find a good picture. They can come in and they can eat anything, anytime. They come into the low tide, right, to the tide zone. Even at a high tide, they just dive down and munch away, right? They just come in and chomp, chomp, chomp. They would have been fine. Yeah, they could have went down deeper underwater and just chomped away while they're waiting for a tide to come down but they come in they'd be rolling in food they wouldn't be naked like you're seeing behind me yeah the whole coastline these are all from a unique spot 
And these pitchers are well known. These are unique pitchers. And these are all pre and post Fukushima pitchers. And the close up pictures show you it's naked. There's no if, there's no buts, there's no maybe, there's nothing there for the seals or the sea lions to eat when they come ashore, yeah? Starving, drooling, brain damage, seizures, horrific, nightmarish. This is nightmarish. And I don't have the ability to come out and go swinging at these. I don't have the ability to fund it. I was supposed to pay fines yesterday for the last court case and another one coming up in 10 days, 11 days. I have another $200 fine for that one. I need to get 400 bucks to get her. They probably got a warrant there for me right now for paying, not paying 200 yesterday. was the supposed to be paid off, but we put our bread in the basket and, and hoped that the lectures would pay off, and then we got denied on the first one, and then the second one didn't go because the first one didn't happen, but we were committed. But we did what got the town alive, and the next lecture when I gather enough money and get clear of the headaches. I mean, we lost everything on the boat they stole last month, right, down at court. All the life jackets are gone. Tools were all gone. We just replaced 200 bucks of that. I've been working all day yesterday on the boat. We can't afford to put fuel in it. We got to be like the strangest organization imaginable where we can't fund ourselves, but we do somehow. Little pieces, enough to make, enough to keep jabbing at the industry, but not enough to, um, and they know it. They're, they're sitting laughing right now, right? They're getting bonuses. Ah, Danny got nothing. Better give them more so they can destroy the rest of whatever Dana is trying to do because he's the only resistance that's out there kicking and punching and grounding and pounding with this industry. Mysterious die off of salmon. As soon as they get to see the die because of lack of oxygen, there's no food for them to chew on. The, the microscopic world was destroyed right away, Yeah. The phytoplankton, the bases, the food chain, the oxygen, the carbon sequestering chains were killed off fairly quick. Normally, if it was just a small release to be contaminated, there's so much they were killed off. Fuel is this plume of water, tainted, tainted. It's these words that have lulled everybody into thinking that is not bad or is not an issue, right? But the reason they're reporting on it and minimizing because it's a serious. No idea what they're going to do. There's no solutions. Harvard is not in there. Yale, Berkeley, Stanford, Oxford, MIT. Because I would have found it if they were. None of them been in there. It's just homeless and destitute. Because if you're within 300 feet or more of the reactors, you're getting x-rays and neutrons and gamma shine. And you can stand behind fire trucks. It doesn't matter. You're dead in two weeks. We're running at a homeless. Time to send in the academics. We don't need them anymore. They have abrogated their responsibilities. They're all garbage. Same as media, they're garbage. We got to throw them away. They are true garbage. They've been dumping it in the ocean nonstop. All those tanks at the site, they were putting out x-rays and neutrons too. Yeah, that came out. I got the headlines and studies on it, but not the top of my fingers here, but. Plutonium detected underground, I guess so. You've seen the studies earlier on plutonium dogs, yeah? Every dog died in every study. The reactors don't run on cesium or iodine. They're tracers that your Geiger counter can find. The reactors run on uranium, plutonium. It's releasing uh, radioactive isotopes. And there's 12,000 different ones. So, well, like, when you get... 50 counts. 55 is an evacuation zone. Say that was iodine-131 or something, or cesium. If it was iodine-131, then you immediately say, say there was 10 counts. Well, now it's uh, um, just 10 times more. It's 100 counts per minute, but you're not getting it on your Geiger counter, but it's 100 counts per minute of 132. Yeah, there was 10 of 131, but there's 30 times more 133. So now you're talking about 330 counts per minute and um, 100 counts of 132. 
is 430, and 10 from 131 is 440. There's 31 times more iodine-129 with a 15 million year half-life. Iodine-131, one, you know, 132, 133 iodine, ionizing radiates its thyroid glands, nine times more effective than iodine-131. But when you added it all up, you had over 700 counts per minute just in the iodine. But the reactors don't run on an iodine. They only they run on uranium plutonium and 12,000 isotopes are produced. But your Geiger counter only showed you 10. <laughs> don't know where that shit comes from. Honest to frig, I don't. Fushima fuel is suspected to be in the ground. Why it pops out of my head like that? I don't know where that comes from, where it ever comes from. I just think about it and I go ahead and I check and I calculate it on right. It's going to melt right down to the ground when heat isn't removed. That's why there is, uh, these are so dangerous. And three of the Fukushima reactors melted through containment. The crisis is clearly ongoing. 2014, 2014, releasing hundreds of different radioactive materials. That's a polite way of putting it. The seriousness of the current situation can't be understated. An unmitigated radiation is pouring into the Pacific. Let's go over and say good night. Good day to everybody. They don't know how to stop their leaks. We'll never know how to stop it because you won't even try. You won't even admit you got a, an issue. You won't even just rather make fun of me. It's better to make fun of me, right, than it is to admit you got a problem. It's easier to come out and make fun of somebody who doesn't speak perfect English, who doesn't have the bling bling. And six, eight, six, four, zero, 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 is the atoms per man made per gram. And then here's what the other number looks like. Uh, for natural radiation per gram, it's 160,000 versus 6 trillion, 864 billion per gram. And anyway, it was a good stream, I guess. We got most of the stuff out. I got to number... Uh, Usually these got numbers on it. It's 98. That's how far we made it. Just hang on one second. And all together, uh, 199. So half of what I wanted to get through. Hugs for everybody. Hi, everybody. And uh, you're wrong. You're so wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. I showed you model after model after model. So you're, you're, you don't know what you're talking about. No offense, but you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. You got a bank balance? Send some my way. You'll find links below the video to PayPal. Dana Durnford at Hotmail on PayPal. And then at Nuclear Proctologist, there's a donate button. You can donate with your credit cards. Like, if people don't support me constantly, how am I going to accomplish anything? How are we going to ever do anything? I'm trying to become self-sustaining, but how do I do that without building up? I'm doing everything I can to try to take pressure off anybody and everybody, but I don't know how to walk away or give it up, and I don't know how not to fight for everything, the other 8 million species and your children, your friends, and you. Even if you don't want me to fight for you and you don't understand it, you got to understand that this is not a game. This is not a if. This is not a maybe. This is we better do something. And if you can find someone better than me to go to bat, please tell me. Please show me that. I'll go check it out. If you're better than me, I'll donate everything I got. I'm not kidding. Jan, Brooks, Miss Milky. I still never got your message you were talking about a few days ago. I check in my emails, but I'm so burnt out that I not added last week or so. I've been laying down, kind of feeling good the last couple of days. Mass Page, Neil, Lauren, 
TJ Timeless. Let's call it a day. Hi, everybody. Elaine is out there doing the moderating today. Tough job. Some days it's easy, but not all the time. Censorship. Hi, everybody. Just make sure I said hi or try to. You know me. I know people are just sitting back out there. Aqua. I know people are just sitting out there and don't comment ever. Veronica. There's many, many people that have conveyed that to me. But they are paying attention. They are trying to understand. They are learning. And they, people do care that the world is worth saving. The, the species on the planet don't have... Don't have a voice. And you have to be their voices. And if you can't be, you have to support the people that are trying and fighting and are effective and are efficient and are knowledgeable and are willing and are dedicated and are fearless and are indomitable. And these are my... Um, these are not something that you can learn. There's a better way of looking at it. These are not something that just... You can pick up a book or you can just watch and become knowledgeable that of that level. I'm no different in, a, in one context of very high quality, very high quality athlete. One at the top of his game and can't be taken down. But I'm not arrogant. I'm not pompous. And I'm not self-centered. I'm, I'm here because I got to educate whoever is willing to, to pay attention and in the future generations to have that information available in case something happens and that I feel secure that that knowledge is out there. But the urgency means I got to learn and try and push and that I can't, I can't slow it down. And I know that music probably screwed everybody that time because I do that sometimes, don't I? But I do like it. It's, and I do like this kind of stuff too. So we'll call it a night. We'll send our hugs and our respect and our admirations out to everybody that has spent many, 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 many sleepless days worried about me out on the Pacific Ocean. When we were out there on the expeditions for 260 days and that so many people contributed and done what they could and shared that information and that they made a difference and they set the stage. They set the stage for us to be the dominant go-to source for documentation for real people, for people that care about their friends care about their loved ones, care about their selves, care about their pets, care about the insects and the flora and the flora and the, and the animal kingdom that is no more and care that there's 80 species or 80 killer whales left there all emaciated and understand it's not like a beer hibernating emaciated. This is, the, this is for keeps and that uh, we can try to hide it with all the PR firms on the planet uh, and they know they're wrong. They know there's, it's just wrong. But you can't hide the death of the Pacific. It just, it can't be done. Take care, everybody. We'll see everybody Monday to Friday, starting next week, right here, 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, where we're going to bring it to them. Works for everybody. Take care. <laughs>